Welcome to the channel. Today we are deep reviewing Mavic Mini. Because of the small size of the Mavic Mini, you can put it in one bag with the remote controller and battery hub. For a few years I was owning Phantom 4 Advanced. So as a Phantom user I would never imagine to do some shots like these, flying through the window of the car, just being inside the car and flying outside, fly between very narrow branches. Let's talk about daylight, low light and just best settings for video quality in the Mavic Mini. To get best possible video quality on Mavic Mini you need to choose 2.7K, 25P or 30P depending on your region. Then um, there is not much of to change here but best is to tune uh, exposure compensation and don't uh, overcompensate exposure because that's is cranking ISO fine-tune your look here uh, turning these wheels and then just turn the lock so then if you lock your exposure it's not changing while filming it's more cinematic and more professional looking because if you uh, turn that off there is uh, quite of exposure jumping and uh, it's not cinematic at all so be careful of this and there is one thing where Mavic is similar to Phantom it's about flight time it's I tested it and it's about 22 to 24 minutes I also crashed Mavic Mini once and it survived but it was an easy crash and here is few more important things you need to change or keep in settings to get most cinematic results on Mavic Mini. So the flight mode should be Cine Smooth mode and into settings under control section under the gimbal you need to change the pitch speed and pitch smoothness for your liking but for me best are these settings. They are quite smooth so you protect yourself from harsh movements of the gimbal that's very important to get the smoothest, the most cinematic results. And finally, the low light test. So results aren't great, but they're usable. Mavic Mini holds noise pretty exceptionally. I hope that you find this video helpful for you. I am filmmaker for eight years. I decided to share my experience in filmmaking the gear I'm using for lots of years, so just stay connected to this channel and don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching!